In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image to an email in Contact Form 7. And I don't mean attaching an image, I mean having an image right inside of the email. So for example, you could have your sign off at the bottom, your company name, and then your logo right in the email. And I'm going to show you how to do that and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. So first things first, we've got to go edit a form. So I have a form. I'm going to go to contact and edit an existing form. You may not have one yet. You may have an existing form. If you don't have a form yet, check out the tutorial up above and in the description down below on how to build a contact form 7 form. But if you're looking up this video, you should have a form already. Click on edit to edit that form. We're not going to change any of the form design because all we're doing is we're adding a picture to the email that's sent. So we don't need to change anything here. We go to email and we need to check use HTML content type. And if you are saying this as an autoresponder, so for in this example, we're going to add a logo to the email, which when you're sending it to yourself, because this first email, email with no number after it, goes to you, the website owner or someone on your team. So you don't really need to attach a logo or anything like that unless you're really OCD, maybe you do. So I'm not gonna attach it to there. I'm gonna to go to email two, which is the email that's sent to the person who filled out the form. As long as you have an email field in the form, the email can be sent or an email can be sent to that person that filled out the form. And to that, I'm gonna add a logo. I'm gonna say, uh, thanks for filling out the form, Bjorn. And below that, I want to add my logo. To do this, we have to check use HTML content type, and then we add the image tag. So there is some code involved. It's very simple though. Use the greater than sign, type IMG, short for image, and then SRC, short for source, equals open and close quotes, space, forward slash, less than sign, or greater than. I always confuse the two. It really depends on what direction you're going. They could both be either. Anyway, uh, we have our source here. We need to add the path to the image in this location. So I'm going to go to my home page and just grab the logo from here. Right click on the image, choose copy image address, and then paste it in here. And now we have the URL to that image. It deleted my quotation so make sure you have open double quotes and closing double quotes open double quotes before closing double quotes after now I'm going to save the form and let's copy the form code you may already have this on a page or you may not if you don't follow along if you do have it on a page just go to that page where that form exists go to pages and then add new I held down command and clicked or control click on windows it opens it in a new tab it's going to add the title cf7 image and email, email, I'm going to paste in the short code. It's going to auto detect it as a short code and add the short code module, which is a nice little shortcut. Other, other page builders would require you to, to drag in the short code module or HTML module. Gutenberg auto detects it. So plus one for Gutenberg. Click on publish and then publish again. Click on view this post. I command clicked again to open a new tab. We're going to fill out this form. Uh, email with image. Nice to meet you. Click on send. Now an email is going to be sent to you, the website owner. It's not going to contain the image in this example. And we got a thank you message. So the email has been sent to the person to fill out that form that will contain the image. Before we check on that, I'm going to make another change. So I know that this image up here has a transparent background. Since the email is white, I'm not going to be able to read the text. I'll just see my icon. And since this is an HTML email, you can come back into here and add some HTML. So I'm just going to add a background color to our image tag. Type in style equals open and close quotes. Type in uh, background color colon black semicolon, don't need a semicolon in this case because there's only one declaration. 
If you know some CSS, you can apply it in the HTML email. Click on Save, and then come back out here and refresh this page. Quickly fill the form out again. All the same info, and then click on Send. Email has been sent, and now in the email address that was filled in, the simple sequence email, we're going to have two emails to look at. One is going to have, actually they're both going to have an image, one with a background, one without, so let's check those out right now. So here's the emails. The first one, like I said, we have our logo here, but we don't, we can't see the text. The text is right over here, but it's white on white, so I can't see it. And the person receiving the email can't see it. So maybe I want to change my logo to be able to have uh, dark text, readable on white, or I just click on this button down here to see the rest of this second email. I added a black background, which is also an option. Doesn't look great. Just a quick example of what you can do in HTML emails. You can add CSS styling, and that fixed my logo problem. For me, I think it'd be much better just to make the text and the design here a different color versus black. I actually have a different color logo on my hard drive. But this is just to show you can add images and CSS styling to the HTML email that's sent by contact form seven, which means you can make some really good looking emails if you know some HTML. And if you really want me to design one for you, you just wanna copy paste the code from the blog, leave a comment down below this message or below this video saying you want me to make that HTML email, I will make it if there's enough comments. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And Next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.